We are tracking breaking news concerning an East Greenwich High School graduate who is in Haiti right now. Late this evening, the mother of Julie Prudholm received an email from Julie saying she is okay and will be in touch with more information eventually. Julie's mother has spent more than 24 hours anxiously awaiting word of Julie's safety. The East Greenwich High School graduate arrived in Haiti on Monday for a college-sponsored community service trip. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us live from East Greenwich with more on this part of our story. Well, it's a parent's worst nightmare, not knowing whether or not your child is safe, not knowing whether your child is alive or not. And that's exactly what happened to this family in East Greenwich and throughout all of this tonight. They did receive some good news during our interview. After a torturous 24 hours of not knowing, just got it not 10 minutes ago. Joan Prudholm of East Greenwich just received word Wednesday night her daughter Julie is safe. I am okay. So oh, I know. We need more people. The 21 year old college student was on a relief mission with their school, Lynn University in Haiti. She and others in the group landed on Monday, just hours before the earthquake hit. The only word they had was apparently some girl escaped with Julie from the building and had a phone and was able to either text or tweet uh, a friend in the United States. Still, mom says it's been difficult, especially the first night of not knowing. We went to bed and cried. <laughs> Simple as that. Where do they go to find food, water, go to the bathroom? If they have, some kids may have medications. What do they do? They can't. And Thursday night, still anxiety about the others in Julia's group. As of 5 o'clock, four are missing and two faculty, so a total of six out of the group of 14. So and that's very heartbreaking, too, because, of course, you want everybody in the group to be safe, and we're hoping that that will happen soon. And we just received word from the Lynn University website that at this point, seven of the 12 students are now accounted for. They checked in at the embassy, but all of the faculty members at this point still unaccounted for. Reporting live tonight from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom from East Greenwich, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.